What's up, y'all? So 55-year-old Mary's 18-year-old goddaughter. This has been on the internet going crazy, and we about to get into this video. Um, I, I don't even know really what's going on before I even put my input in. So, y'all, let's just grab your drink, grab your smoke. TT got her hookah. Let's get into it. Hit it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you league. So, I already read the title, man. Let's get into it. Oh, first of all, shout out to Paris Milan. Uh, she has the T on this situation because I could not find the live. Um, and I don't, I, I really wanted to get my own reaction, but yeah, let's just get into it. Allegedly, this is the 16 year old, or however old she is. <laughs> so, for everybody stating their opinions about me and my husband, I can't go on my shit because some ignorant got me blocked for 30 days. So, I'm the Facebook jail right now. But since y'all want to go on his page, we just going to settle this shit now. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to be done with this shit and let y'all look ignorant at no class talk after this shit. Me and my husband, we're married. Me and my husband ain't going nowhere. I don't give a I don't care. I don't give two. I don't, I don't give two f at that. Not even one about y'all opinions y'all on here talking about oh i'm just stating my opinion i'm just stating my opinion i'm just saying it don't mean shit to us so why the f waste your time and energy i'm sorry but the blinking and the peeping is the car what is up with some black people y'all go live and you hear smoke detectors it's, it never <laughs> fails that there's gonna be <laughs> she ain't never lied about that it's gonna be a sound in the background that's a fact annoying Sound effect. Well, she took her damn seatbelt off. The day in your life to sit up here and keep on saying it. it, 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 it that's your opinion. We don't care. At the end of the day, everything is done. We're legally married. I'm 18. I'm grown now. I'm talking about, oh, you just a baby. I'm 18. I moved out my mama house when I was 16. 16. 16. Fucking 16. What did I do? Get a job. Get a job. She got to be a Libra. <laughs> she got to be a Libra, bro. Yo. It's some weird ass people out here. Yeah, me. It's some weird ass people out here, bro. My thing is. It didn't have to be your mama boyfriend. Now, our opinions don't matter. That's the a fact. Because. If she's set up the way I'm set up, I don't give a fuck about nobody's opinion either. All right? So, I don't blame on that part at all. However, some people, this just lets you know, some people just lack morale. You know what I'm saying? You could have messed with anybody else. Why your mama nigga, bruh? <laughs> and then him. You watched her be born. And raised. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just, well, hell, I guess he raised her. <laughs> um, I just, man, to, to go so far as to marrying? God, because I mean, y'all know what comes before this whole marriage and a relationship shit. You know what I'm saying? Even if y'all was just going to do it, uh, especially if he just had to get it out of his system or she had to get it out of hers. I don't know who hit on who. I don't know how that situation went. She says she's 18. She's not 16. She's 18. She moved out when she was 16. I just feel like, God, if y'all would have... <laughs> Yo, like shit these days just turns into to shit it's just not supposed to turn into. I'm I really, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Because I'm happy. That you're always going to be happy. No, I don't know I'm what to say. I was never going to be shit because of my past. That's what the y'all thought. And I proved y'all wrong. Sis say past. Like that thing was just, like she, she been on this earth for 50 years. That's why y'all really mad. But at the end of the day. That shit ain't even worth it because at the end of the day, I'm gonna do me. We're gonna do us. I'm gonna continue where this fucking rock on my finger. And I don't give a bitch gotta say. I don't. I don't. Because at the end of the day, I'm gonna live my life. I'm going to live my life to the fullest. We only have one life. And that's what y'all fail to realize. Wake the fuck up. How about that? Wake the fuck up. And I don't give a fuck about all that laughing at because at the end of the day, y'all retarded. Y'all ignorant in the mind. Y'all ignorant for y'all to say, oh, you young and this and that. Okay, yeah, I'm young. So why would I want to be, just because I'm young, why would I want to be with it? If I got, my mind is more mature than being with a mother young. Why would I want to be with a young? I feel you on that. It's just why I got to be your god daddy. That's all. Why I had to be him, you know. But once again, y'all, we stepping into a whole nother realm of life. Especially, shout out to Retrograde. Because shit is looking real funny. Now, y'all, <laughs> for the people that know me that been here, I blame, I told y'all about Retrograde about, what, three years ago? Yeah, three years ago. I said I was going through what I was going through because of Retrograde. And y'all thought I was fucking crazy. Y'all thought I was crazy. I'm like, boy, this retrograde ain't no hoe. I'm trying to tell y'all. Retrograde can affect a lot of shit. This right here, I feel like it's retrograde, period. <laughs> I, and not just this. I'm talking about in life. We are just at a spiritual warfare. And we have been for a very long time. And in this situation, she feel like she ain't wrong. And I mean, yeah, maybe she not. I mean, we can't tell her who to date, but I just wonder why, like, can you imagine, what if he heard her, you know what I'm saying, this been your father figure, now husband, and I mean, heard her like cheat on her, she young, you know what I'm saying, it's just so much that could go into this, it's just, uh. He wanna lay and play. He, he don't know. Like you said, like y'all said, how I'm young and ain't my mom. I feel I'm not dating young boys because they ain't hitting on shit either. Um, I gotta use the bathroom and unfortunately I gotta go. <laughs> Be right back two seconds. Don't want to commit. Don't want to get out of his mama house. Don't want to do that. Why the f 
She ain't lying about that. She ain't lying about that. <laughs> Listen. This little girl knows something. I ain't even gonna count because she ain't lying about that part. She ain't lying about that, boy. I'm trying to tell you. She ain't lying about that. Y'all, how did this go public? How the hell did this go public? <laughs> My question is, what age was she when he started looking at her more than a daughter and vice versa? Yeah, we, I, you know, I got questions too. But that, that's the issue. I don't know. I don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just reacting to what she talking about. But yeah, like. I mean, at the end of the day, he clearly was, you know, looking at her um, inappropriately. And now she just in it. You know what I'm saying? All this shit she know, I feel like he taught her that too. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you don't need to be with these young niggas. They can't take care of you, blah, blah, blah. Which is, you know, respectfully the truth for some of the young boys. And they are out here smashing gay men. I mean, that she didn't lie about that. That's a fact. Uh, but in this situation, that didn't mean she had to go to him. But, you know, like I say, some people just like Morel, y'all. Oh, girl, you f It don't exist yeah, anymore. Yeah, at least I got the balls to say I am. Nah, fact. At least I got the balls to say I am. I can agree with that, too. I can agree with that, too. Ain't like she ain't telling the truth. <laughs> she telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, I don't people. And, yeah, and yeah, I got the balls. Got a scholarship? Moved out of 16? Y'all Fort Pierce, where is that at? That sounds like some Texas shit. He's 
Continue. And he's, he's, <laughs> I don't have to do that. He's, he's not 55. He's 46. <laughs> Talking about that's his shit. That's his shit. I ain't got to do none of that shit. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. This is this is my shit. This is my shit. My shit. He got his keys. All four of his. I got all four of mine. I don't need. I don't. I don't need to drive around nobody's shit that ain't never been me. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I got a license, he got a license. Some of y'all ain't got that. <clears throat> Some of y'all be riding around them, um, riding around the rental cars for the weekend, trying to figure out what the f I'm gonna do in, in, in the company car. This shit, we own this shit. We own this. Y'all. What the fuck is going on? Mad, because y'all see us on our shit. Apply us instead of trying to talk bad about us when y'all ain't even got y'all shit right. Applaud us. Be down to us, because that's what y'all to do bow down bow down this is a hot ass mess <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie this is a hot ass mess she ain't saying too much child so what the mama got to say <clears throat> girl how long is this fucking live It's, but the gaslight been ringing off the whole episode. This shit is, we, um, that's all I had to say. I'm not finna keep going on and on about this shit, man. It is what it is, man. I'm out here on the countryside at my mama house that I left when I, I was 16 years old. And, and shit, so you don't need that. Oh my God. And shit, so you don't need that. Now I went to the mama house. For yeah. what? Because last night. Like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, kiddos. Hey. <laughs> Yo, when you think you got shit going on in your life, it's somebody going through way worse. Because just what the fuck is this? Hey, Yo, come on. Hey, baby. Hey. Yo, mama watching hey, the kids? Baby. That's her dad. No, you know, that's not. Hey, baby. 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 Hey, Okay, so if you guys were able to stay through that, that live was sickening. It was tragic. And I know a lot of you guys feel some way for her, but I honestly feel sorry for her. I can't even find it within myself to have like any animus or rage with her because that's all she knows. <clears throat> Y'all, that girl know what the fuck she doing. <laughs> she know exactly what she doing. She not, yo, I, I need people to stop mistaking like 18 or 16 or whatever. Can y'all run an ad, please, for like toddler? These people know what they doing. She know exactly what she's doing. Y'all, I, I mean literally exactly what she's doing. It's just going to be some bad karma for her, though. Very bad karma. So, um, my daughter and Mike Huckabuck married each other, right? I don't approve of that stupid cartoon ass shit. And that's what the I said. I ain't even go to that. Mike, you know, I'm throwing 2017 in my apartment at the mother of Pete when you was coming over there hard. Anybody who know me know how I stay over y'all seen that face stay over there. Okay? For a cell phone, a hundred fifty dollars. Okay, I was working at Family Dollar, and I need some extra money. So that's what that was about. I told this dumb, and then when she ran away, when I stayed over there with my oldest daughter. And Wait, what? Family Dollar, and I was when I stayed over. Y'all seen that face? That you know what I, that I said? I ain't even go to that. Mike, you know I throwing two thousand seventeen in my apartment at the mother of Pete. When you was coming over there hard. Anybody who know me know my style. over y'all seen that that stay over there. Okay? For a cell phone, $150. Okay? I was working at Family Dollar and I need some 
extra money. So is she saying that she smashed him for one hundred fifty dollars? That's what I got from. It. Is that what she said? I need y'all to let me know in the chat because I'm not. Now I'm two years older than her and would never do this trifling shit. I mean, most of us wouldn't. <laughs> um, I can't barely understand what she's saying. So that's what that was about. I told her something, and then when she ran away when I stayed over there with my oldest daughter in Jacksonville. <laughs> Mike was the main one talking about this my goddaughter. Y'all help me find her. Da -da -da -da. Y'all remember that shit? Y'all remember when I walked down in that kitchen too? Like a 14 year old little girl she was. Yeah, y'all remember that Okay, shit. so she probably put that girl on live whooping her ass. Because why are we supposed to remember when you whooped her ass in the kitchen? Girl, that mama got everything to do with this. It's, it's giving the, the dude and the daughter want to get revenge on the mama. This is just trifling. So, with that being said, that is my last time. Her name really is Dejaniya Evans. Like Davinia Evans, mine. She just got adopted in 2016 right before I came home. Okay, by Ashley Jackson. White chick. All right. So, with that being said, uh, Deja doesn't remember when she was little. She don't. Re she don't remember when I was when she was with me. I lost my kids to DCF. A lot of y'all know I used to stop patty sold a lot, whooped a lot, went to jail a lot. I was young and wild. As I don't apologize, and I've been. And if I apologize, in a more. But you said you mad at Mike because you need stability. Okay, so uh, hmm, your son, your your stepson, my little cousin, your little cousin, yeah, he he didn't know he didn't know whether to call you his godmama or his mother. Uh, I mean, his stepmama or his god sister. I say, is she, is she your god sister or your stepmama or your cousin? He said, she my god sister and my cousin. No, my stepmama and my cousin. No, but he said my stepmama and my god sister. That's it. So, all this shit, what Deja putting up, all this shit with Mike and all that, let me tell y'all, motherfucker. Because, first of all, I'm a real <coughs> witch. Because if I want to get you, I'll get you. Please don't sleep, okay? I ain't got to come and do nothing physical to you. I promise I will send the spirits to you, bitch. Now, with me. You, your husband, the family, I don't give a I'm over here. She talking to her daughter. Good. Y'all, this some trifling ass shit. <clears throat> I don't know what to say. Like, oh my God. <laughs> you were just over here to this house yesterday. Come on, how about you love me? Playing with me and jumping on me. But then all of a sudden, you were Facebook talking about it. Oh, she went to that mama house. Okay. Eastside. On two. I'm born in Cape Town, Virginia, on the Eastern Shore, raised in goddamn Dipper. That sound like Easter to me. So, with all that being said, I'm going to tell you this. Y'all can be mad at me. I love my granddaughter, Noni. I sure do. But before I kiss anybody to spend any time with her, I'm done. I got one grandson. His name is Giovanni Josiah Robinson. He a little red bone, look cute, little thing with dreads to be with his nanny all the time. My new baby, that's my bestie. And I love her to death. Yes, yes, she is my favorite child. And you know why? Because she said, yes, ma'am, please, may I know and thank you. And she respects the out of me. Even through my fucking past addiction. I smoke powder, smoke cigarettes since 2006, 26, 15, 26, 24, 15. That's my clean day. She ain't snort powder or smoke cigarettes, but got that black in my I get the powder. It's the black. Okay. The black about 20 cigarettes. Mm -mm. How about that? Talk that. And I ain't have to go to no program to do that shit. 
I ain't have to go to jail, prison, none of that. I just got tired of losing. Man. So I changed my life. So before I let anybody talk about, oh, peaches dead, peaches dead, and I ain't got kids. This is real clean. All of my kids came from Saturday and Titus. That's why y'all stay in my shit. Let me tell you something. That's why her. her yeah. Ooh, child. Ooh, okay. Her, okay. Ooh. <clears throat> this is a terrible situation. Okay. My daughter's husband was deep begging me for for years, and when I finally let him get some of it, he tried to play me. So we fell out. Like I said, I'm not married. That's why when she he put. So he didn't raise her. He didn't raise her daughter. She didn't raise her daughter. He, it sounded like to me, he used to smash her clearly for some money. She used to smash him for some money anyway. She used to smash him for some money because she needed some money or whatever. Apparently, she was with her for a little while. And the daughter ran away because she didn't want to be there. Then she went back to jail. The daughter got adopted by the white lady. And now, all this has happened. He didn't raise her. Three weeks before they got married, she came in the house. I had a baby suit and went to the truck. Talked to the man in the back seat. Mike's going to tell me, you just want somebody to see that thing. Don't you go with my, my daughter? Didn't you just bring her over here to get some more of her stuff that you brought over here? That me and my new baby help bring in this motherfucker in his arms? But did you just say that to me? See, I be quiet about a lot of I'll be sick. I don't even have the time. But I got to hot blood. Girl, we know that that man going to be smashing other women. That's the that's the issue I got. Because her little feelings about to be hurt. And I mean, it just sounds like... For the sake of the money and stability, she going to stay with him. Hell, I think that she's so focused on stability because this damn woman ain't gave her no stability all her life. She ain't had no stability all her life. So, I think that's why she wants stability so bad. I, I, I feel bad for her too. A lot of this got everything to do with her upbringing. And clearly, she don't know no better. But the narrative that has been put out is basically that man took care of her, and that ain't the case. I got high back, and that shit came from high potential. Because I go from zero to a million in five real fast. I am Puerto Rican. Oh. I am teaching mostly. Oh, okay. I am Navajo. Oh. I am Bahamian. Jesus. And I got a little Irish. So that means, uh, yes, I am crazy. So stand up, lady, leave me the alone. I got Indian. I thought the mama was married to that man too. So the narrative, like I said, they putting out is cap. <clears throat> Hold on. The narrative that's being put out is that the daughter it married. The mama's ex-husband. That's what I seen first. So then. Now he's the god dad. To the, to the god daughter. And there's no way. <laughs> she was a god daughter. Because this woman was barely in her life. Which is the mama. So. He done smashed her from time to time. Because she needed a phone bill paid. That's what she said y'all. She needed a phone bill paid. I needed some extra money. So she smashed him and he gave her the money. He met that girl, uh, uh, the daughter. He, he probably was already scouting her little ass because he was around this damn mama. Smashing her. The mama was a hoe or is a hoe, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, respectfully saying, I'm saying, if, you, if she say that she's smashing him for a phone bill, baby, mama, come on now. So the daughter admitted to smashing a lot of dudes too. The daughter said, I can admit my shit though. You know, I have smashed a bunch of dudes, whatever. The daughter said that. So, 
I think that this was a situation that he was smashing the mama and the daughter. And I don't know how they got married. That is the part that is just beyond me. Even for him. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, if you're smashing, she's 18. He can, he can smash her. That's, I mean, clearly, y'all, she's legal. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying that's not creep-like. I'm not saying that's that got some morale to it. I'm just saying that call a spade a spade. She was old enough to, to have sex with the nigga. So I don't know if they did it before. I don't know. I'm just talking about what I'm giving right now. Mama wasn't never there for. And uh, I feel like she wanted some stability. She probably the one who got the nigga to marry her. That's what it's giving. And he about to cheat on her and treat her like that, uh, you know, low class. I mean, it's going to be cool for a while. And then, man, <sighs> this is a hot ass mess. How did this go public? Leave me alone because I ain't it. Leave me alone. They don't have a child together. She said that. Deja, whatever, Lonnie, Lonnie, whatever. Jackson, talk about whoever you are. Stand out my face. Please don't ever speak to me again in life. And I mean that. I mean that. You were literally just over here yesterday. Hugging and kissing on me. Now you on Facebook yesterday talking shit. Man, look at I mean today. Talking to that shit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Find something safe to do, little girl. You 18. I'm not killer B. And all the love you be arguing with. Come my study. And brain diseases when you're over here. It's your thing. I had to bleach my shit out. Cause your mother over here. Man, all that you had to sleep with me. What? And what? She just said the nigga done brought diseases to her. She had to bleach her shit out because she was just over there itching from him giving her diseases. <laughs> now she's saying it ain't my fault you turned out like this. Oh, but it might be because I snorted too much powder with you. Man. If trifling was a person. Jesus. This is a mess. Just find me what happened. So apparently she been with him, uh, the daughter, and he's still smashing the mama. <laughs> Good God. Yo, like this just gets worse and worse and worse. Man, them kids had everything. It wasn't him. 
impress me. He said, my money was very long. Honey, don't sleep. Anybody who really know me know who was catching that bread. And baby, that shit was for real. No, I'm not going to be hot ass. I'm going to show you what I will do. See, because one thing about me, I don't fuck with people. And I like peace. See, shit like this right here, I keep peace around him. I love the peace. I love it. But then in some times. Not about to get a gun or some shit. Piss me the fuck up, I might just go to that. What's that? Yeah. I can't see what that is from. I might, when you piss me the fuck up. Who do? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Yo! What? <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> what? Oh my God! I might just go to that. Ooh, yeah. Or I might go to that. Hold on, she not got a couple of. Them. Yeah. Or I might go to that. I don't know what that one say. I don't know. Or oh, I might go to that. Not got another one. Seven. Man. Or that. Oh. If you guys don't realize, she's pulling up Wiccan, witchcraft, hoodoo, black magic type books. So basically, she's threatening to throw the black magic spirits on her and all types of Wiccan, witchcraft. <laughs> Trust me, Dana. I ain't friend. Or oh, I might just read this my Bible right here. Woo! I ain't Christian. Sorry. I don't do church. Yeah. That's me. Right there. Right here. Yeah. That part. What herbs you want? What you want? Girl! <laughs> Need me to make you a bag? She might want to leave her mama alone. Okay, her mama deserve a whole lot of leave alone. Okay, some people do, y'all. When some of these people try to run out your life, girl, give them the track. Do you hear me? Give them the track. Get your ass up out of here. All right. No, 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 no. She need to leave her mama the fuck alone for she be out here looking crazy. Hell no. Nah. What? I am behooved. You know, what I'm like, this is not funny. I am behooved. Okay. This woman deserves a lot of leave alone. And I think her daughter is the first person to do that. Leave her alone. Girl, leave your mama alone, child. Like, for real. You know what I'm saying? Give me now. Like I said, don't fuck with me. Because I see the things that your ass. You have a bad, bad dreams. That part. I ain't got to touch you. I'll let the spirits come touch your ass. Damn. I could do that. See? Don't. Oh, no, you know, man. Deal with. I don't me. need. Mm -mm. That part. <laughs> I don't need it on my eyes. Don't fuck with me. Find somebody else to play with. Find something safe to do. Leave your mama alone. <laughs> okay? 
Damn. This just took a turn. <laughs> like y'all for real. She better leave that woman alone, y'all. I'm Jardy. Okay. Yeah, nah, that's crazy. Cause I'm not she. You said me, me said me not she. So me, me, me come for you. Nah, I'm a that's bitch. a I lot. I ain't crazy, I'm different. I'm a whole different type of species. A whole different type. I've been doing this shit for a long time. This we, shit been in my blood for a long time. We I know. come see every one of y'all leave my body here to come and visit y'all. Fuck me now. I, I, I gotta have a man. Child. Yo, what? Damn. That's crazy. I'm the man. Out of here. I'm a whole goddess out this. I control my own this. Control yours. Because I control mine. That motherfucker. I'm very different. Girl, she better leave her alone. And I, and I, and I, I, ain't, been, I ain't physically whooping nothing. So like, Joe Bell, I'm gonna call you back, homie. Look at that, my friend calls me. I ain't physically whooping shit. So like, uh -uh. I, ain't, I ain't got to. I'm gonna let you whoop yourself. And and if you keep with me, <laughs> them spirits gonna whoop your ass. How about that? <laughs> oh, and, and I ain't even gotta do that. I can just, everything you said about me and talked about me and all that shit, and it's going for anybody in the motherfucking world to all y'all. Keep Stop, stop, stop being mean to people and talking to mother because of the, all that energy back to your ass. That's your ass. Don't be mad. Oh, your hell falling. Your financial shit going down. Everything just breaking down. You ain't got no friends. Don't nobody want to be bothered with you. Leave people to fuck alone. Yes, I am okay. I'm great, Pino. Thank you. <laughs> no, Deja and Mike mother ass over there with that cartoon. Marriage with that shit, but don't give a damn. I'm not mad. I just don't condone the shit. I don't care. Y'all already people from back in the day who really know me know Joe was my boo anyway. Oh, uh, <laughs> Joe. My, I just took for sale on some money. Uh, that was you saying. I had to put some money. Family Dollar wasn't paying that thing. Well, how did how did he become the god daddy? How did he become the god daddy? That's what the fuck I want. How? Maybe he became the god daddy because he had the bread. Nah, for sure, Scott. I already know. But like, yeah. <laughs> he became the god daddy because he had the bread. Who child? I needed my money. How phone. long is this and video? I was home from prison, Not 43 minutes. That part. Yo, the same year he was claiming that she was his godchild. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. So, wait, wait, wait. Say that again. Like I year he was in 2017. Wait, what? I had to put some money. Family Dollar wasn't paying that thing. Right. I needed my money. And a new phone. And right. I was fresh home from prison, 2017. Right. That part. Yo, the same year he was claiming that she was his godchild. Yo, that fuck. Like I said, <laughs> I'm not mad. Just don't be on Facebook trying to sell me out and shit. Cause see, they all block. They block. I blocked them too. And it wasn't because of that. Cause I was still talking to her after the wedding and everything. I didn't go. I don't condone it. I just don't. So I didn't. I didn't. I didn't block them then. It happened later. And I only bought them on the phone. I don't, Mike is not my friend. Mike, Mike, he's not my, my friend. And neither is, um, uh, uh, well, Deja is my friend. But I didn't block her on Facebook. But, but I got people calling me, telling me that you, they like, what's going on with you and Deja? Why, why, um, why she on Facebook talk about you like that? This is sound powder. Like I said, 6 15 is my clean date from powder and Newports. I'm sorry that I made you mad. And all my life, I have been uh, HIV negative. Uh, uh. So don't, don't be mad because I ain't dying and I ain't a fucking junkie. Don't be mad because I put you. If I put you on. Friend, you ain't miss nothing. You ain't miss nothing. Don't be mad. Get glad up. Um, 
with you. Ain't no ease up, friend. My ass not able to stay in her lane because I got a lot of shit to say. I just be chilling. I don't say shit. <clears throat> and for ones who didn't see it, here you go. Here you go. What they say? Nine ten. What they say? Yeah, it look like it's say HIV negative to me. So y'all <laughs> quit that lying shit. It don't matter. Y'all can keep saying it. It's cool. Cause y'all y'all gonna say I got that shit and you still try to eat my away. That shit crazy. That's what you gonna do. And you y'all gonna see me put in y'all gonna try to chase him down over here. It don't matter. I don't give a damn. I'm still gonna be doing peach. I'm still gonna be doing me. Just like that. So Peach's ass don't want outside too. What people are saying online is a victim of that her daughter was um somebody that you basically didn't raise like that according to what your daughter said. Okay, I wasn't there, but what your daughter was saying, you were in and out of prison. But well, that's what she doctor. said. I mean, you even said that yourself, right? <laughs> so you don't participate in your daughter's life. You have her around all these predator, pedophilic, molester type dudes. Your daughters are having teen pregnancies. I don't know if that's normal in their neck of the woods. And oh, you're sorry. wondering why she Thank doesn't you, have, have any oh. girl code when it comes to you and some guy. It seems more like she's upset that her daughter was messing with the dude that she messed with for money than she is that her daughter was preyed upon. I feel like she doesn't really see mm, that, that her daughter was taken mm. advantage of. Your Thank daughter you. may not admit that she was taken advantage of because she's under an intense amount of mind control. She's going to need therapy. Yeah. Do you think you will resist? And I can defeat the daughter in their crime. Your priorities are F. She feels like she knows it all. So I'll let you guys listen. Andre and Crystal come and stay in my house and flee with to my baby. That's why I put flee out my house when me and Chris Wilson was going together. So I went to jail defending my child. Oh, so God. when she was 16, which, um, hmm, she was my then. Oh, know she, this is where the truth comes out. Was coming into Rock Road telling me stuff. When I got home, I found out the shit was true. The day before Father's Day, he put her ass out because he thought she was trying to creep with some little young boy. But she came over here and got money from me to buy him a Father's Day gift. The mother who doesn't do shit. The junkie. The one who was never there. So y'all want to talk that shit? That ain't take care of shit. She ain't, only bill she ever paid was a cell phone bill. Thank you. Okay. She ain't never had her own house. <clears throat> she just getting little jobs. And I had to push her to do that. I've been telling her for years to get a job. Finally, she got a job. And she holds jobs. She works very hard. At the same time, she's a liar. I took good care of you. When my cousin Tanisha Broadnex disappeared and hid, God bless her, dad, disappeared and hid with your ass. Yeah, that was me. When she, my Aunt Gracie Gordon, I used to send packages to my grandma house, which is my Aunt Gracie house. That grandma don't pass. But y'all, I can't watch no more of this toxic shit. Um, I'm going to just uh, pray for all parties. This is a hot ass mess. <clears throat> this is a hot ass mess I'm done with this video uh, I love y'all Appreciate y'all Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments We on to the next video